welcome back it has been a while um probably gonna be a lot of talking this episode but there's a lot that's happened um it's been a couple months almost since we've uploaded um last thing we did was the galaxy revival that did great thank you guys for watching that um that thing was on marketplace for like a day gone uh must have priced it right, I guess. I don't know. Um, super cool car. We weren't going to be able to do anything with it. We got too much else going on. It just needed to go to somebody that could love it. So, it's gone. But, we have got all kinds of stuff to do. So, first thing I'm going to start with, just because it's kind of different. Uh, we got a new project. And... Uh, I have quite a few bad YouTuber moments, and this is probably one of them. Um, I don't know, you guys probably didn't see much of it, but there was a white extra cab, short bed, 2000, 2001, something like that, um, half ton Chevy sitting here for quite a while. I don't know if any of you guys saw it, it was behind the shop, um, but it is still here, but there's... Some stuff missing. So, uh, as you can see, it has no body anymore. 5.3, 4L60, four wheel drive. All that good stuff. Um, cats are missing. Neat, don't need them anyway. Um, truck run and drove pretty good, actually. Um, it's a little rough. Rear brake calipers are gone. Rear brakes, non-existent. Um, did great burnouts. Well, this tire did, anyway. That one, not so much. This one did good. Um, ran pretty good, but it's complete, ran and drove. So some of you might be thinking, well, what are you gonna do with that? C10's obviously not four wheel drive, and you know, it, why? Well. A lot of you guys have seen or might remember a truck that we've had sitting outside for quite a while let's show you that I'll try to get some light out here and hopefully you'll be able to see it that truck right there you guys remember that I'll try to get my shadow out of here 1959 Apache. This is a 36, 3600, whatever you want to call it. Three quarter ton. One ton. I don't know. Eight lug. Heavy duty. Um, this truck, we did end up getting running. Um, didn't drive it because the transmission was stuck. It wouldn't move. Um, turns out, the other day, I was mowing. Pulled it out of the way so I could mow under it and transmission popped in and out of gear and could probably drive it now but in any front that and you can see probably behind it i don't know if you can see it back there or not the rest of that truck is well there's a fender and there's the cab and bed of that truck but this pickup is going to go on that frame. So, spider webs everywhere. Turn my lights back off here. So, we are going to have to shorten that frame a little bit. I think it's like 11 inches or something. Not sure. Um, unfortunately, this was an Iowa truck, Midwest, a bunch of you guys know, about the top quarter of Missouri up, trash. Um, down here, everything fares pretty well, it seems, but this was an Iowa truck right about there on that side of the frame on the bottom. It is rusted out. Um, it's not terrible, and this side is solid. So we're good over here. 
but I think on that side I'm gonna cut it like right there in a little Z and then this side will probably come up a little bit that way they're not straight across from each other and do it up here and cut out some um, before we cut I might bring that might tear that truck down and try to get that cab and front clip off and set it on here to see if any body mounts are at all even close or if I could utilize that mount um, before we cut it anywhere that way I know what we're doing but uh, this is for a buddy of mine he wants modern frame modern engine four-wheel drive all that stuff and quite frankly I don't blame him so that truck is gonna go on this chassis it has been in the plan for a long time but we've just been swamped um, but yeah that's the plan for this so that will come in time that'll be probably a good late fall winter project we'll try to knock that out so Apache swap in the works number two on the agenda the Nova I know a lot of you have been probably wondering they just give up on that what's what's the deal no we're making pretty good progress actually um, full CVF eight belt or eight rib serpentine belt setup um, some of you that know this car or that followed this car when we did the revival and all that stuff um, I gave this to my dad if you didn't know um, know that this car did not have power steering originally it was not a power steering car we have put a power steering gearbox in and a pump and got the lines and all that stuff so it is now a power steering car um, that power steering gearbox is out of a early mid 90s like IROC Camaro bolts right up and supposedly has a better turning ratio so that's what we went with um, there's been several write-ups on that so went that route um, the lines are basically 6872 Nova lines I got the adapters for the inverted flare to o-ring fittings and then just a Saginaw pump um, we got the electric water pump on here I am going to change these to Allen head just like all the rest of the stuff is everywhere. Um, obviously the intake's been on there through the carb on. We've got to cut down the studs because the carb spacer that we were going to run is not going to happen. I mean, I'm going to have to have like an inch air cleaner to be able to clear the hood at all. So couldn't run the carb spacer, unfortunately. It's not a big deal. Um, got the adapter for the heat in here we'll run that stuff um, the electric water pump does not have a fitting for the return heater core line so we're gonna we got an inline um, basically T for the bottom radiator hose so we're good there and um, we got the radiator and electric fan and shroud and everything right there so this is coming together pretty good um, we're not really far off on the engine bay side of things um, we're in about the same spot on the interior we got the shifter hump in um, basically I just need to mock up the console make sure it's happy and mounted like it should be once that's kind of figured in um, carpet and seats and interior will be just about done too so we're really not too far off on the Nova. Um, went ahead and spritzed this side up with some black paint because we were already down there for the Pitman arm and all that good stuff. Um, headers are in, stuff like that. Um, we got new thermostat housing, all that good stuff. We're gonna drop the distributor in pretty soon. Um, and this thing will be pretty well close so once we do all that we will have springs and stuff but I'd like to get those things done so we can at least drive it 
you know, rip it around a little bit, see how it does. Then we'll put the springs and stuff on once it can move. Um, and yeah, that's kind of where we're at with that. So Nova is coming along and there will be some content on that pretty soon because we've come a long way um, on that. So that is second thing down. So third thing, I think there's gonna be probably three or four. Um, Chevelle, uh, you guys, if you do follow me on some social media stuff, you'll know that, uh, yeah, we got engine stuff happening here. Um, the 2JZ is not in it anymore. But it's got one that's just like it. It's still there. We can't give up that easy. So that engine turned into a disco party. Lots of lots of glitter, stuff like that. Not happy, not good. Found this one. Half hour up the road. Cheap. Guy just pulled it out. Funny enough, was gonna LS swap his IS300. Hey take the TJ off you um, set it ran good and everything like that so we just scooped it up tore it all the way down put all my stuff on it pan intake exhaust manifold sensors knock sensors injectors you know everything and uh, yeah it does the thing so we'll start it here right up and this engine instead of not moving the gauge has very good oil pressure so this thing is pretty well wrapped up But it does need tuned. Um, I got it running good enough. We've driven it a little bit, not much. Oh, uh, yeah, I mean, man, we've driven a little bit. Probably a couple miles, nothing crazy. Um, but it runs again, sounds good. So I'm looking for a remote tuner for EMU Black um, or something along those lines. Somebody that can even come to me, I don't care. Or if you're fairly local, I'll bring the car to you. That doesn't matter, I don't, I don't really have whole lot of worries i just i want to get it tuned because i want it reliable i want to be able to hop in it and drive it and next weekend 28th there's an event in st louis that i'd really love to go to with it it's definitely not going to fit in but i'd love to go so maybe maybe we can get it good enough by then that we can drive it an hour into town and go to that. I don't know. I do know that if this 2J lets go, I'm pretty well done. I'm over it. Um, we'll either slap this big block in it or I got a 5.3. So one of them will go in it. If this 2J just doesn't work out, I'll just sell all the 2J stuff and get my money back and put an LS in it. So that's those three. Um, C10 still just chilling, you know, reliable thing. That will get LS swapped eventually. That'll probably be late winter, sometime next year maybe. Um, but the last thing before 
something like that. Um, we do have another revival coming up, and that will be probably end of the month, early next month, probably early mid next month. We'll go with that. Um, that one should be good. I don't know much about it. I've seen the vehicle for maybe five minutes total. Um, it also is just down the road, so that won't be too bad. But uh, yeah, that's about all I got for you tonight. Uh, like I said, a lot of talking. I apologize. But wanted to kind of give you guys an update of what we got going on in the shop. There is a lot going on. I just haven't really did even anything because I didn't really figure anybody would enjoy it to be honest. Uh, just a lot of a lot of bolting stuff together. I mean, nothing crazy. Uh, I will show you the gauges that we got for the Nova. They are pretty nice. So we're gonna go with this is the TAC VDO gauges, oil pressure, battery water temp so those will all go into this center console auto meter makes that nice little gauge pod instead of the factory like rectangle gauges up there these kind of point them towards you and make them a little easier to read so we're going to do that and yeah like i said shifters in there the uh pump is in there we just gotta bolt the dash back in, bolt the steering column back up, and yeah, that's pretty well good there. We'll throw the carpet in it and seats. I still do have to redo the back seat, but that's gonna be a whole other thing. So, um, I guess the last thing, we'll call it number five, just because, and most of you won't care about this at all, but it's new, so we'll show it. We got gravel as you guys saw earlier when we walked up here we got gravel in here finally so much better kind of had this graded out a little bit because before this was fairly steep when like you back a trailer down in here or something the trailer would catch and then when you get further your tongue would catch and it just was a pain so we kind of leveled this out and then angled it up um, but it had needed done for quite a while and we finally got that done so nothing crazy but a little update there too so yeah lots of just little stuff going on um, last thing I'm gonna talk about and if you've made it this far thanks appreciate it I know it's a lot of rambling um, is there anybody that wants any merch should we do another round of that? Um, if we do, we'll probably just do like the normal hats. Um, and then I thought about doing like a actual design shirt instead of just the logo, doing something on the back with a saying or something, or maybe one of the cars. I don't know. Um, the cars don't really have a good enough following to really care to do that but if you want to see something drop an idea whatever um and we can do that um but yeah that's all i got for you thank you again for watching please comment down below something that you'd like to see or a question that you got or a comment i don't care i, I enjoy reading them um and yeah We'll probably just keep slapping down on the Nova for now. And like I said, I might, if I get to a stopping point on this where I need to order something or whatever, which we should have most everything. Um, or if I get tired and need a break from it or whatever, um, we might go ahead and try to cut this thing down, get that body in here and try to mock it somehow, see how it does. Um, I, don't know, I think it should work pretty well. I've done all kinds of measurements and it seemed 
pretty decent so far so that'll be kind of a learning process for me but we're gonna get it done and it's gonna be pretty cool when it's done so that's enough rambling thank you guys for watching we'll see you very soon like i said revival coming up nova content apache content possible ride with the chevelle to see if that's finally done and ironed out and yeah that's all i got for you thanks for watching guys see you next time